welcome back to my channel welcome back to gift guide week we are concluding this week which is very sad but we are concluding this week with a B&M gift guide. Now, I actually got some in-store footage, which I'm going to include first of all, the kind of gifting aisle section. So make sure you grab yourselves a nice cozy drink, sit back, relax, enjoy that footage. And then I will bring you back here to show you everything that I did pick up from B&M. And lots of gifting amazing gifting options I did pick up quite a few bits most of which are for me they're like haul type items but a few of these are great gift ideas too so I'm going to start with the most expensive item and it is this gorgeous throw this is called the Roma boucle throw at 25 pounds it's 130 by 160 centimeters I'm thinking of throwing this on our sofa we have quite a few throws to be able to get cozy with but also have the dog on and not be too precious because throws can just go in the wash nice and easy. This I thought would make a great gift option and also a big throw like this bulks out a present pile. As soon as you wrap this up, it's like your pile is instantly got bigger. Next up I found this duo in the bathroom section, this soap and lotion dispenser at eight pounds. I thought this was gorgeous. Looks way more expensive than a B&M eight pound bargain duo. And it comes with the tray as well. So even if you were to move these and put them somewhere else, you've got that tray to use elsewhere. I also picked up this tray. This was from the bathroom section from the Homestead range at four pounds. They've got these wooden trays and they're all different like each one is unique so this makes a great white company dupe i'm actually thinking about doing a white company dupes christmasy winter edition very very soon so stay tuned for that this may feature in it but yeah four pound is an absolute bargain they do these wooden trays now on white company which you can put the botanical candles on so even if you were to buy someone the botanical candle from the white company and then maybe get this to go with it or even get a more affordable one i know aldi are doing dupes with the winter spice botanical candles this year i did get one other candle this wooden one i really like the white kind of light wash wood to this one i thought this would be a nice decor piece it was six pounds and i think i think it's scented vanilla but i'm not gonna lie the scent itself is not blowing me away it's the candle that i thought would look nice sat out on like on top of a coffee table book now these would also be great for a candle lover again from the nordic life range matches in a bottle at four pounds good little stocking filler this one if you've got a nice big stocking um to wrap this up and pop it in and it's the actual matches themselves if you can see are black with white tips so yeah very scandy nordic nice and plain there's nothing else on the bottle i couldn't not include a mug within this gift guide so the one that i picked up on this occasion is the from the winter stag range it's the slogan tank mug if you can see on there it says hot chocolate and chill with a little snowflake and it's got the same design on the other side as well this one was three pound fifty it's a nice big chunky hot chocolate mug this one with plenty of space for loads of squirty cream and marshmallows i did pick up one christmas decoration and it is this at two pounds from the festive nature range it's this dark forest green paper decoration these are duping the h&m ones that they did last year and i just love this rich deep green color especially with like a darker burgundy tone at christmas so had to pick that one up three pound fifty this one is and it is a brow kit so they had what was the other one was it nail kit maybe three pound fifty included you get precision tweezers you actually get two different ones um a brow brush like a spoolie and then another brush on the other end and some curved scissors which i actually thought these would be really handy for trimming your eyebrows you know if you brush them up and just trim along the edge a little birthstone keychain they've got so many horoscope type things um things to do with your birth month 
This one is a keychain with the stone on for November, which is Barney's birthday. And then I also got these, which again, make a nice little stocking filler gift from the luxury fragrance range that they do this set of wax melts. This is in the scent number four, Lime Basil and Mandarin. Oh, sorry. Lime Basil and Mandarin is Joan Malone. This is Mandarin, Lime and Basil. Again, a handy little stocking filler gift idea for the guy in your life, but definitely one that I will find really handy with our renovations is this six in one pen tool which comes with there's a spirit level there's a measurer it's a ruler it's a screwdriver it's a screen toucher thingy what do they call it touch screen stylus so yeah just a good little gadget pen to have at three pounds i also picked up this storage jar now bnm do the best storage jars with this kind of acacia wooden lid in the kitchen section this one is from the bathroom section but i thought it was just as nice it was four pounds you could even do a little diy gift and use this as the storage jar for it maybe pop in there if it's for like a partner you could put a load of like love notes or things that you i don't know things that i love about you reasons why i love about you and pop them in there just some kind of a DIY gift. Again, another little stocking filler gift idea, which I always think is a nice touch for someone who owns a car, a car air freshener. Now I've not seen these ones before, but Febreze now do these car air fresheners in the limited edition spiced apple for winter. I love this scent in the bathroom one. So I'm gonna be popping this straight in my car. Again, another stocking filler gift idea for a Mrs. Hinch lover as a flora. This is the cranberry and orange, which I think is a great scent for Christmas. Speaking of cleaning products, I did also pick up this scrub mummy. They've got a couple of new festive ones in a Christmas tree. And then this one's a white star. I got this as a gift for Barney, my golden retriever. He loves um, like chasing things. And I've seen these toys. They are, I think, intended for cats, but I have seen loads of videos on TikToks of dogs playing with them. And there is a dog on the box as well, but at seven pounds, it's one of these flapping fish. They've got them in gray and orange. So I picked up the orange one. They're rechargeable via a cord. So once they're fully charged, you switch them on and they literally just flap about. So. I might video him playing with this at some point. Speaking of dogs or pets in general, if you're a pet owner, we all know B&M is great for the pet aisle and especially at Christmas too. Now I've just got a stock of some toys for Barney. I've got these all at about £3.50 each, these rope toys and like a little bone. This is in the kind of gifting Christmas section. Um, they've got all of the initials on. This one's obviously B for Barney. And then of course they've got all the dress up stuff as well for your animals like costumes, bow ties, bandanas, everything. I got a stock up of my fave, the Batiste dry shampoo. And then last but certainly not least, I picked up my first tin of Christmas chocolates. Let me know which is your fave, Quality Street, Roses, Celebrations, Heroes. I do like Celebrations and Heroes probably, although I like the nostalgia of a Quality Street. Roses are my least favorite. Um, I'll still eat them though. But I got this new edition. It's a games edition of Who Am I? So I guess each, I don't know how it works. Should we open it and see? I do feel like it's dangerous now that I'm opening this tin though. Once it's open, it's open. So let's have a look, let's see how this works. Um, okay, well there's some kind of school card here with different rounds. Oh, oh, it's not, it's not as exciting as I thought, to be honest. It's your standard box of um, heroes. But the twist is that you've got these little sticker things, which essentially you need to decide, you choose um, a category for the game. Think film stars, superheroes, pop stars, national heroes, sports stars, and more. Write the name of a person on the sticky note, stick it to your forehead. So it's just the like, who am I game? But there's your paper that you can stick to your forehead. You don't need to go and get a post-it, a set of post-it notes. Thought they might have included some actual ideas, but anyway. I'm going to end it on having a little crunchy bits because that's my favourite from the um, from the selection. So that is everything that I picked up recently from B&M. A couple of gift ideas thrown in there and taking you down the Christmas aisle. So I hope you spotted some bits that you are going to go down and get your hands on from B&M on your next trip. 
hopefully you guys have enjoyed this week's videos throughout my gift guide week and I hope I've given you loads of inspiration and ideas on what to buy for your friends and family members this year. I'm actually really sad that I'm finishing off this week because it is probably my favourite video to film is a gift guide so to have done my Christmas gift guides for 2022. I'm very sad, but I'm sure throughout the rest of this month and into December, um, within my vlogs and things, I will be sharing with you guys more gift ideas of when I'm out and about shopping and like wrapping prezzies for loved ones or anything else that I end up picking up myself. So yeah, stay tuned for all of those vlogs and festive fun videos to come by subscribing. Like this video if you are a fan of the gift guide week and thank you all so much if you have watched and supported every single video it means it means the world and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys